On. My light's not on. Alright, things should be about to start. Now 6 p.m. Regolith. Hopefully people are here to start some matches. We have one person checked in on every match, uh, but no match has two people checked in. Damn it! Oh, uh, we finally have a match with two people checked in. Lex versus Day Neptune is about to start then. Uh, waiting on Rezo, Ritzy Cheese, and Parker. So I think I was, I think I was gonna see you first, Regolith, but I think I messed up and put the other, I put Rezo first.
Should be able to at least get a match to watch. Oh, my network's being shit. Why is my network being shit? Let's hope that doesn't stay true. I've DM'd a bit, but uh, I don't know if these other players are going to show up. One of the players is currently in Valorant. Oh, frick, we started. Alright, so Lex versus Day Neptune. I am just quickly trying to message the last player. Can I even. How did this player find the thing? <laughs> Don't know. Uh, Day Neptune down first stock, alright. So there's one DQ, Rezo is DQing. Uh, I messaged the other players, but looks like they might not show up. All right, that is, I think, the most I can do. Uh, the other ones are probably going to DQ in about a minute or so. 
Uh, this match, however, is actually quite close right now. Nan is dead. Day Neptune is at higher percent. But a couple of good down smashes uh, would probably even this up. Uh, maybe not anymore. Can't can't Blizzard desync with no Nana. No full hop on that back air. Oh, thought they were going to try to down smash again. Ooh, just run at him back air. Well, that looks like three DQs is what it's probably going to be. Unfortunate to have three DQs out of eight players, but at least the other five players can play. This one... Ooh! What was that air dodge? Was that just a really, really missed ledge dash? Or what? Okay, the other DQs go through, and I'm going to DQ this one. All right. Ready? Go. Where's this going? Oh, is that too low? No, not too low. Oh, missed the handoff. Another high air dodge from Lex, though. <sighs> Expecting a drop, I guess. Danner off stage? Nope. Danner's on stage. This is covered. That is covered. Still can make it to Randall. Likes getting juggled here quite a lot. Back air is going to seal it. Oh, I don't have my freaking thing up. I only started my stream like very last minute. Do I have these players' things? Got that one. I think I have Lex. all that. It's currently 1-0 for Day Neptune. Even again at two stocks in this game. Day Neptune up a. L I don't know. Day Neptune down a stock. Never mind. Still has Nana on their last stock. Last Nana. Can they clean this one up? Shine to nothing? Downer gets caught by Blizzard? I feel like that was too much waiting. You can just try to kill Nana there. Falco was just waiting at ledge for Popo to come back. Nana with the back throw. Oh, there you go. No, Nana's dodging everything! <laughs> Double roll from Nana dodged four different attacks. 
that is gonna clean it up. Now to one to one. Uh, Kudge versus Marth Brooks looks like it's starting up. Uh, ho I was hoping Kudge would be able to get a closer uh, game. But with no round one players in three of the four matches, it's only the cream of the crop left. All right, where does day nine or day nine day Neptune counterpick? Probably FD. Yeah, FD. I'm going to just let the other winner semis play out because there's not going to be all that many matches this week. So I'm not going to pl tell players who waited 10 minutes for a DQ to wait for another match to go through. I was hoping to catch a game from Kudge, but unfortunately didn't. Taking a lot of lasers on Ice Climbers right now. They're already pretty high percent. Is that going to kill? That's in... No. <laughs> Couldn't tell which climber that killed at first. Down smash? No, grab and ledge. That I guess Falco didn't have a jump, but even with a jump, I would have been kind of pushing it to try to make that back. Gotta save Nana there. Might as well try. Ooh, that didn't trade. Kind of surprised those, uh, like, how, how short is the hitbox? on the side B of climbers. Still a whole nother stock ahead for Day Neptune. A little bit of a handoff. Ooh, guts one there, gets another down air, doesn't continue it though. At 83%. Like, a good smash will, might send Falco too far to recover. Oh, the charge. Nana's dead. Sopo kill? Kudge up 1-0 on Marth Brooks. That is it. Up 2-1 now, Day Neptune. Uh, other players I messaged, still not around. One of them did ask for a DQ, the other two just haven't responded. So, Lex's counterpick now. I think you might just choose, like, Battlefield here, honestly. Against Ice Climbers. Like, you don't want to give them the space, because Climbers really like, uh, like, the base stage rather than platforms. So, like, Dreamland or Pokemon are... Actually, no. They played Pokemon already, and Day Neptune won it, but... Uh, Pokemon and... No save on that. Pokemon and Dreamland, though, might have too much, uh, too wide of a stage. Like, too much stage, too little platforms. Where I think Falco definitely benefits more from platforms. Because climbers usually do a lot more grounded than on, uh, platform. Unless you have, like, 
some insane handoff combo where you jump across platforms and throw to the other climber above you. So Lex taking that first stock pretty well, not even 40% yet. Nana grab. Oh, and then Nana rolls out of there instead of tech chasing. Come on, Nana. I think Nana's at the higher percent between the two climbers right now. As long as you can get them... Oh, died off that. As long as you can get the climber separate percent, you're pretty good. So that you don't hit them uh, together. No, it looks like they're pretty much even. Nana didn't get caught by that, uh, that side B, though. So Popo just... Jumps back alone. Lex play more defensive, good choice here. You are ahead, and the other player is Ice Climbers, so they don't have the strongest approach buttons. Uh, yeah, Ritzy, you, you only missed, um, only missed one match, then the opponent you were going to have in Losers uh, asked for a DQ. So you've actually still got a chance here. <laughs> I'm guessing Parker isn't showing up, though, so I may just end up DQing or double DQing them. Do you play... No, you, you play the loser of the winner of this versus the uh, regolith. So you've still got a, a little bit of a ways to another match. Oh, barely live that. Too bad climbers can't uh, grab from behind like a, a falcon or something. Is that it? Alright, Lex, looking to bring this back to 2-2. Two, two. Juggles though, where they go on straight down. And Shine was not big enough to counter that uh, that down smash. Falco, you're ahead. Doesn't catch anyone with that up tilt. Kill Nana? Alright, no more Nana to deal with, maybe. Popo's going out there. Oh! The side B instead of up B killed both climbers, and now we're at 2-2. Uh, on the other side of bracket, the two players who are there, uh, Kudge and Marth Brooks, are 2-1 in Kudge's favor. How did Kudge do last time? Uh, don't think they did the greatest in last week's, but they played who? Ed and VP Noah. Alright, game five, Dreamland as... Yeah, the for sure counter pick of climbers here. Starting off with a good combo, gets caught by that up -y back to stage though. Trying to tomahawk and gets grabbed. Separate them, oh, only gets one climber. And misses the up -y angle. Uh oh. Not a clean start for Lex. Alright, Popo's higher damage right now. Thought they were going to go way higher, but did not choose to. 
At least smack Nana. There we go. Like, at the very least, don't let Nana just get over there and defend Popo on ledge. Where are you going, Lex? Alright, still living. Good air dodge back to stage. Dodge with the down smash. Hand off? No. Nana grabs. Not long enough. Two different smash attacks whiffed. Alright, combo on Popo. Nana interrupt. Continue comboing Popo. Doesn't get that F smash on Nana. If they can clean up this kill, they at least won't be far behind. Down some air sends them on stage, though. Oh, miss ledge jump or ledge uh, ledge dash. Standing laser, no punish. Alright, combo the shit out of Nana, it misses the up tilt. Nana's got a lot of grabs. The downer, weak downer. Nana with the roll! That was, I think, Nana jabbed? Jabbed the down smash and actually saved Lex. Alright, they get the kill on Popo and didn't get hit by Nana. One down smash should clean it up. That's technically two, but still cleaned it up. Right, totally even on Last Dog Game 5. Could definitely see either player being able to get this. Lex needs to hit a combo or something. There we go, started. Gets a good F smash on Popo and then beats up Nana a little. Popo getting kind of worked. More F smashes. Nana kill? Alright, Nana kill. Lex at about 60%. So many rolls. <laughs> Everyone's rolling! Alright, weak back hit is. Backer is not going to send that far. Strong backer is going to kill and a taunt unnecessary, but very close games between Lex and Day Neptune. Uh, I should have Regolith's broadcast that we can jump over to. Kudge beats Marth Brooks three to one, waiting now in winners finals. Uh, Lex and Day or Lex? No, not Lex. Day Neptune dropping down a loser's bracket. I'm going to DQ Parker because they have not responded to any attempt to reach them and they're away on Discord. So I'm going to DQ them so that uh, Day Neptune and Marth Brooks can play. Ritzy is going to play the loser of this one.
my broadcast is good here. So that was a really close fought there. Uh, only the second match played in the tournament really so far. Alright, starting right away, actually. Uh, Regolith Fox versus Lex... Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, versus Lex's Green Falco. First match of the tournament for Regolith and its winner semis. how warmed up Regolith is. Hopefully they were keeping fresh. Good laser into the down air. Cleans up the first stock. gonna DM Marth Brooks because uh, they might have thought they needed to wait we're, we're gonna wait longer for their next match all right uh, Regolith is down not out can still get a like, take this stock not too far in Fox versus Falco. Like, any percent over 60 is... You very much can just get combo to death. Is that a Nair kill? Alright, Marth Brooks is here to play. So, they are starting their match in loser's bracket. So, only two total DQ outs. Uh, Ritzy missed a match, but you, you know you can still you can still get in there and play. Both just downering at each other. Fox combo doesn't get the tech read, or almost gets the tech read. Didn't turn around. Pushed off stage. Oh, I think where they wanted to go to ledge. Gonna get F smash for it. grabbing a laser. Don't think that usually works. Falco... Nope, Falco's dead. Up tilt doesn't catch that down air. Pressure to the side. No, nope, reverse. Stage swap. Fox up smash. Not gonna kill Falco at that percent. Off stage now. Backer is gonna clean up the side B. Game one to Regolith. Where do you go as Falco here? I would I would say that that is like the only stage that I kind of consider more in Falco. Oh, FD2. FD and Pokemon are the only two where I feel like, yeah, I, I guess it's more in Falco's favor. Maybe. But generally, it's a super, super even matchup. Less less volatile than like a Fox Ditto or maybe even a Falco Ditto. Still still pretty volatile. Alright. 
quick stock from Regolith. Leg's not really getting to any of the combo starters they wanted right there. Lasers are getting rolled through. Oh, finally get the shine. Another shine. Down tilt and up smash clanking. Oh, doesn't space the forward tilt. It gets the second one anyway. Short hop forward air? Weird choice. Ends up getting the kill anyway. Actually, wait. With what I said before, I think Fox has a chain grab on Falco and there's no chain grab the other way around, right? I think. On FD? Forgot about that. Ooh, good combo. Catches that. Catches the up B too, the high up B. That hitting that laser was like really required for Lex to, to get back in this. Where are you going? Lands on top plat. That throw went nowhere. Uh oh. Regular? Kind of messes up that edge guard. Another chance for Lex. Nope, gone. Regular, getting the better end of these these trades right now. I think. Oh no. Hit a little too far off stage. wasn't expecting it. Was maybe trying to crouch cancel down smash. Down air is off stage instead, and that's 2-0 right now for Regolith. Uh, Day Neptune versus Marth Brooks and Ices versus Captain Falcon going on in loser side. Still on game one. I didn't exit Steam. Alright, so back to Pokemon now. The Pokemon game was, I think, a little bit closer than uh, Battlefield, so yeah, I guess. This is good. Other stage I would have could have seen them attempt was uh, like Yoshi's, if they were if they're down for that. Jumps at the ledge. It seems like you're putting yourself in a really tricky situation. No jump apparently from Regolith. Where is that going? Ends up working out, but like that was like an on-stage up B straight up <laughs> into land and grab the advanced tomahawk. <laughs> Oh, does Lex does not get that angle. I think that's the second time we've seen them go for the downward angle to ledge and miss. Actually, maybe the third. Where did they have not have... I don't really know what happened there. Wasn't expecting them to just fall down and die. But Regolith wanted to get a three stock, doesn't get it. Unless they get a JV3 three here, which they probably won't, because... Lex wasn't all that close to dead. I think that might have supposed might have been an attempt at an Armada Shine, but the side beat just comes out super low. Somehow we're on last stocks for both players. Weird little air dodge makes it by. Gets the, the ledge that time. Tech chase? Oh, it doesn't get it. Run up, up smash attempt from Regolith. Lex can get this and finally get a game win. Oh, the up smash. So close. 
these up smashes any one of them could kill. One of them finally does. That's a 3-0 for Regolith. Uh, so we'll keep on Reg Regolith's broadcast and go up to winner's finals, which is going to be a Falco ditto. Tournament is called Falco Lasers on Main, so actually it might not be a Falco ditto. Regolith might change. I don't know if they are down for the ditto. And Ritzy, if you're still there, you are going to have a matchup. So, Kudge is the law, and Regolith did switch to Fox. I know they play Fox, Falco, and Marth, uh, but I also know they particularly don't like the Fox ditto, and I guess they don't like the Falco ditto either. So, seeing that they would be against a Falco, they switched to Marth, or switched to Marth, switched to Fox. Could have seen the switch to Marth too, actually. Alright, game one on Battlefield. Uh, we have not actually seen Kudge play on stream before. The When they entered last week, they we didn't get to see any of their matches, and we didn't get to watch their match. Their 3-1 against Marth Brooks. Regulus takes first stock with that, though. I think I think Kudge just got battlefielded. It's kind of unfortunate to happen when you were, you know, right there at ledge. And they're stuck after that, kind of getting worked. Oh, didn't land on stage. Okay, Ritzy is here. Nice. Didn't think that Armada Shine would connect, but Falco having no hitbox in the uh, stall portion of the up B is going to get them killed. Alright, game one to Regolith. Uh, and Day Neptune versus Marth Brooks is now 2-1. to one. Alright, so where is Kudge going to try to counterpick? I would guess... I mean, the counterpick last set for the Falco was Pokemon. So we could see that. 
The other ones I was thinking were like maybe Yo yeah Yoshi's. I guess Kudge likes Yoshi's a bit more, at least than um, Lex did. Oh no! Probably supposed to be a turnaround laser or maybe a down B. I don't know. Either way. Let's pretend those stocks didn't exist. <laughs> they were weird. Starting out even 0, zero at 3 stocks, but regular taking 51% already. Faco lasers win that trade every day. What are these? What's going on? They're all missing. That had been Falco. Maybe that or that edge guard would have worked. That charge on an F smash. Another charge F smash. All right, Regolith was behind in percent, but still took the stock first. Can very easily just get like backyard or something right now, though. No jump for. Cud doesn't matter. Get this side B spike. Like that attempt at the edge guard, but unfortunately didn't work out. The drop wall jump downer. Shy guy's making Regolith get stuck in that back air. Uh oh, up air juggles doesn't qu quite kill. Kudge got it down to the last stock, but at 98%. Could just get back aired or up aired or something or up smash. Actually, it's just a weak back air into not getting this up B angle back to stage. Alright, 2 0 for Regolith. Alright, so another counter pick time. Might see Pokemon this time around. Uh, check it in on the other matches. The other matches are going on just fine, it looks like. Ready? Note, seen another Yoshi's. I guess it didn't go that bad. It was uh, only a one stock win. Getting juggled by these up airs, though. Cudge right now. Randall! I think kind of messed up Regolith. Up air kills finally. Because you're just trying to control center stage. All these down airs and lasers. Becker might take it. Nope, that backer does. Kudge keeps doing that upwards angle. Because uh, I think to like read that Regolith is going to try to read a uh, straight back in. Another up air kill. Kudge on maybe their last two stocks and winners. Doesn't do anything there, just gets hit. <laughs> nice laser hit. Still 
down two whole stocks, though. Need to, like, smash attack this one off stage right now or something. But these upper juggles from Regolith. Alright, takes the stock at 93% versus two fresh stocks. It's gonna be a lot to come back. Judge. Run up, up smash, trades out with a nair. Regolith takes it 3 0. Kudge drops to losers. Regolith in grand finals, winner side. Uh, Kudge gonna be waiting in losers finals. Uh, I don't think we have a broadcast from either Lex or Ritzy Cheese. So, we can't really watch this match. Alright, we're gonna just take a... Just take a moment here. I'll leave this up look at it. Lex versus Ritzy Cheese. Actually, hold on. I need to... Day Neptune waiting and loser semis for the winner of Lex and Ritzy Cheese. Refill my water and stuff while we are waiting for this. I'll be right back. right now for, for Lex. I wonder if Ritzy's gonna change character at all. Nope. Looks like they're going all Fox. think this is gone. Lex has probably hidden some some shine down airs, uh, back airs. Ritzy's probably trying to shine spike, run up up smash. Don't 
double the SO4 just resubscribe for 20 months. The oh. Big 2 -0. Oh. That was louder than I thought it would be. What's up, Dylan? Uh, no, I'm currently just running on an even older PSU than before. I still need to... I need to just buy a new one. Like, I literally just need to buy a PSU. I want, is getting, like, a, 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 a platinum-rated one that much better? Because, like, 850 watt was enough. Well, it's efficiency, and I think it's also supposed to be reliability, but... I don't know. Uh, looks like we got a 3-0 from Lex. Alright. So, we'll now have Day Neptune versus Lex. Uh, so this matchup is actually going to be, we've only watched three matches because uh, with eight players we had a couple DQs. And this is actually a rematch of quarters, or winners round one. And that one was 3-2 in favor of Lex, so we might have a really close game again. Really close set. It definitely could have gone either way. gonna start on Pokemon again? Uh, answer is yes. So. Hopefully Lex doesn't just sit there and take ice blocks. Hmm. 
Ooh, no tech on that. Gonna get F smashed. First stock goes in favor of Day Neptune. But F smash kills Nana, and then just a follow up down air kills Popo. He's full hop, dares. Working surprisingly well. Don't know what Nana's at. Let's assume Nana's also at 91. Dare F Smash kills. I think Lex. No, I think Day Neptune took game one, actually. In uh in the initial set. Yeah, it was it started out in Day Neptune's favor, so I'm kind of surprised they struck here again. I mean it wasn't super off, but I don't know who struck where. Good handoff going on here. Oh, it doesn't get a, any sort of finisher, though. Good job getting Nana away from that F smash, but she's gonna die from that. Oh, they misread the spacing. Dan Neptune thought they were gonna have to go to ledge. Weak down air, and then you almost never have to tech that move. Which looks like it's what Lex tried to do. They still end up cleaning it up, but they could have got screwed from that air dodge. Alright, even even last stock. Let's see if Day Neptune can get another good handoff. Oh, they didn't quite get it. And Nana might be dead? Alright, game one for Day Neptune. Alright, game two, Yoshi's. I believe this is exactly how it went last time. And this should be a pretty Falco-favored stage. Handoffs. Hopefully they can get something this time. Oh, Double forward throw, not the worst ending to a, a handoff you can have, but would have much rather seen a lineup into an F smash or something. Damn, I actually ended up dying first, too. Oh, 
Just checking on something. One of the players who DQ'd ended up getting back to me, basically just saying, Oh, I forgot, sorry. It happens. It happens. Uh, anyway. Danaphoon is still living this for a little bit more. Never mind. If they'd landed on stage, they would've been fine, or if- I think they could've DI'd that one higher. Alright, well that is 2-0 in favor of Day Neptune. That is a changeup from the first set. First set, uh, Lex ended up winning that Yoshi's game. We're gonna actually see a character switch from Lex. Uh, I... Didn't think Lex dual mained spaces, but apparently they do. So we're gonna see a switch up to Fox, but staying on Yoshi's. Barely does not get that. Alright, Lex's Fox looking pretty good, honestly, so far. Good cleanup on Nana. They can't make it back from that. They do not know how to side B. Oh! Miss Ledge Dash gets saved by Randall. It still ends up dying, but a little bit of Randall shenanigans. Oh, Nana landed on Randall there and died for it. Character switch looks like it might have been what Lex needed. Just moving out of range of Icy's. Does not get the up air follow up. gets hit by that, but up smash so fast. <laughs> Nana, what are you down smashing? Handoff? No, no handoff, but that F smash isn't actually gonna kill. And then the roll get up gets just burned. And everything's going wrong for Day Neptune in this stage. Or at least in this game. Don't want to get four stocked. Don't want to go from winning two games to getting four stocked. Down smash should clean it up, yep. Alright. You didn't get four stocked. Uh, you don't want to get JV forward either if you can avoid it. But even if you have to write off this game, you did win one of your opponent's counter picks already. And that, in itself, is a huge advantage, because now Day Neptune's gonna get two counter picks in a row if they, lo if they do lose this. Which, like, they're... I, I don't see a way that you're coming back from this as, as climbers. Now you don't even have Nana. You're a solo climber. Smash takes it. All right, so we're probably gonna see an FD pick right now, and then if somehow they do lose it, they're gonna have either a second FD pick, or if FD looked really bad, a uh, what do you call it? A Dreamland, Dreamland pick. That did 20 damage, hitting the hammer part of, uh... 
Climber down B? Did 20 damage? Already kind of a bad spot for Lex. Then just... Uh, get back to stage, but... What's going on? Hit by the weird up smash hitbox. What's going on? Reverse hitbox. Popo's living a little longer. Can the uh, ice blocks hammer hitbox actually kill? I feel like it might be able to actually kill, but I don't really know how strong that move is. Maybe it has like set knockback or something. Climbers are getting worked here. Nana's dead off, what was that? Just a couple hits into a little shine? The charge on the F smash. Without the charge, maybe it could have made it, but still probably would have been too slow. Oh, the throw is not working out right now for Day Neptune. gets an F smash to connect. You try to save Nana? Don't think that was worth it. Ended up having to dip too low for Nana to even grab ledge or anything. And uh, down three stocks to one on, the, uh, on your counter pick. Character switch really, really working out for Lex. Don't know if we will see a second FD game. Probably supposed to be a back air. Uh, okay. One climber gets burned, other climber gets down smash. Oh, the solo climber now, gotta take two stocks. Doesn't get the timing on the down smash. There's the timing on that one. Alright. Now it's one climber stock versus one Lex box stock. And I don't think they can make that back because I don't think they had a jump. Alright. 2-2 two, two now. Actually, by the end, I think you can run back another FD pick. Don't think you have to switch it up. If it had gone three stocks down, like it looked like it might have, maybe you switch it up, but ending up one stock to one stock. Ready? Go. If the Day Neptune could do more with their earlier stocks than just their last one, they could win this. Tries to get a handoff or something, but Nana was not ready. You can't even tech the down air. Again, no combo ender. Day Neptune, when they're hitting these handoffs, just like when it gets to the end of it, they do like a double forward throw. It just doesn't really do that much.
no reason I was thinking, yeah, Nana's about to respawn. As if that was how this game worked. It'd be weird if Nana actually had a separate stock count. Alright. Sopo gets the first stock down. I haven't actually seen that one, that, uh, the air dodge recovery from Day Neptune yet. I've worked out for at least a little bit. Handoff? Oh, Nana had the grab. I thought Popo had the grab, and I, Day Neptune might have also thought Popo had the grab. Alright, so here is the handoff, but I want to see a better ending. Oh, Nana doesn't even get the forward throw that time. Didn't get it. I think that was supposed to be an up smash out of the up throw. Ends up getting the kill, 0%. Nana, I think, might have taken a little bit of damage, but Popo only just takes the first hit and almost gets shined off stage. Oh, 13% death for Day Neptune. Really sucks when you're ahead that much. Fox be shine spiking. Alright. We get an F smash. There we go. Day Neptune finally hits the F smash out of the handoff. Up a whole stock now. Could just end up getting it taken like their last one. Those, uh, those fox shines. Alright, reflected ice block. Don't get to see that very much. Full hopping over ice blocks does not get punished. Uh... What happened there? What happened? Uh, I guess Lex just wanted out after getting grabbed at the end. Weird, weird ending. You're not drill shining to play Falco and shoot again. That's what I'm saying. The the Fox though, they lost the first two games with Falco. Kind of kind of bad, honestly. So the the Fox character switch almost ended up working out. Uh we're gonna have losers semis up next. not verify the game. Verify game. I can do that since I am the mo I am the T.O. Alright, we still have Day Neptune's broadcast up, so we should just be able to jump right in and watch Losers Finals between Day Neptune and Kudge. Bring this up. So, on the run back, Instead of 3-2 for Lex, it was 3-2 for Day Neptune. Very, very close, close games between those two. I think they were the 4th and 5th seed. So, like, seeding put them right beside each other. And they were there to fight. Uh, I might need to DM Kudge. Whatever the heck Kudge is. Uh... Oh no, Kudge is here, okay. Kudge is ready.
wait it out. All right, there we go. We've got the match, or we've got the spectator still. Uh, these players are need to ban stages and everything. Don't know how Kudge is gonna be against Ices. Uh, the only thing we've seen them play is they played Regolith's Fox and they played Marth Brooks Captain Falcon. Both very, very different matches from Ices. So we'll see how this goes. They Neptune banning FOD. What is Kudge gonna ban? I would guess Kudge bans Dreamland Pokemon. Or no, it was Day Neptune's ban. Kudge banned uh, FOD. Alright, well, we're starting Pokemon. Starting up. There we go. Well, players just crouching on the platform to start with. Don't think you want to wait there and get hit by ice blocks. Looks like Kudge is gonna mostly try to just full hop aerial. Getting handoffed on right now, and there's the forward smash. That's what we were waiting for Day Neptune to hit the last set. So pretty early stockly. Full hop aerials from Falco seem like they're honestly mostly working out. It was just the one really good combo Dan Neptune had. Did that kill Nana? No, Nana's still alive. Choosing to target switch. Maybe get some now? Yep. If Nana knew how to side B, imagine how much better Ice Climbers would be if Nana could actually recover. Like in the new games, where she'll actually, like, air dodge back to stage and stuff like that. Because Nana just jumping and feebly falling... falling off stage really hurts to watch sometimes. Turn this down a little bit. Handoff? No handoff that time. Goes straight back in and just gets down smashed. Barely doesn't get that. Tries to read a further an angle. A lot of F smash coming out from Day Neptune, but they're really working out. This full hop aerial strategy seemed like it was working better at first, but oh, the Sopo chain grab. Sopo chain grab looks so dumb. I think that was one hit off freezing. How many hits does that take to freeze? I thought it took five. Might take six. Where are you going, Sopo? Alright, I don't think Falco has as good of a gimp as Fox does with the Shine Spike, but just getting F smashed straight off Angel platform. Game one goes to Day Neptune. Also, John, what are you doing here? Alright. Gotta be a Yoshi's counterpick. No way you take Ices to somewhere other than Yoshi's if you're Falco right now. Ready? Go. I mean, Falco can separate them better, but Shine is just so good against against climbers. Like, if, if you can shine the climbers... Oh, 
that was that was hard. That was hard to see. Like if if Fox, you can just double shine climbers. They might just straight up be dead if they got separated. Tries to F smash and gets grabbed. The Dead Neptune's been pretty good at the handoffs today. I've definitely not been hitting all of them, but the main thing that they've been messing up with them has honestly been the the finishers. Usually the finishers have just been like a forward throw off stage. F smash is too slow to catch that I don't I don't think you can actually F smash side beyond reaction at all, can you? Unless you no, I don't think you can. Maybe some climber separation going on? Four jab combo. Alright, just beat up Nana. Get the kill at least. What's going on? Nano Nana killed you! Trying to chase down Nana for a kill and she just back airs you out off the stage and into the blast zone. Falco up or yeah, Falco up smash is not really the best. Go for Randall, good job. All right, even stocks, but quite a lot down in percent. I don't know how good Falco Shine leads to combos in this matchup. It's usually not the greatest on floaties. That would have been prime Shine territory right there between both climbers. What is going on on top plat? Popo's just beating up Falco. All right, Nana might be dead. Oh, Randall! Randall saving Nana twice! <laughs> oh, Randall being weird again right there. Get all Nana taunt, top line. Oh, the back air came out. And that is 2-0 now for Day Neptune over uh, Kudge, a.k.a. The Law. They're going straight back to Yoshi's. I do not know if Kudge plays another character or not. They've only played Falco in this tournament so far, so they may only, may not dual main. No character switch. Alright, Nana, a little bit of extra damage. As long as you can, like, separate the damage between the climbers so that one of them is higher, then any of your stray hits aren't that bad. Nair Shine right there gets a little bit of separation. Dead off that, though. Nana made it back! Is Nana dead? No, okay. Kudge cannot land on stage here. Just got beat back and forth. Nana's still living. Popo's still living. Randall being weird again. How is Popo at 130% on Yoshi's? Should not happen. Should not be a thing that happens. Both of them taking out every fly guy. Alright, Day Neptune finally lost a stock, but still up by quite a lot. Kudge doesn't seem all that familiar with the Icy's matchup, which I wouldn't blame them for. If you only play unranked, 
you're probably not running into that many ICs. That kill? Alright. Zero to death, I think that was, actually. Well, if, if not, it was close. I would hear Kudge is taking too much damage already. Ooh. Cheesy side B. To kill Nana. And then... Wait, what just happened there? How do they trade ledge? Sopo kill? Chain grab? I don't know how high that chain grab actually works. Apparently not to this percent. The Kudge was trying to short hop Nair around. Didn't work out. It's going to be a 3-0 for Day Neptune. Moving on to Grands. And it is going to be versus Regolith, who I'm going to assume is going to play Fox. I don't know if they actually are. I'm just going to assume it. But, all right, showing from Kudge, uh, they beat Marth Brooks, but lost their next two matches, and that was good enough to get third. And we still have broadcast up. Alright, so it is going to be Fox. It's going to be Red Fox, Day Neptune coming from loser side of bracket. Regolith and Day Neptune have not played today. I don't know if they've ever played, to be completely honest. I'll assume they have because they both enter Lom and Silver Slippy League, I think. So they've probably gone head to head before. Alright, so it's gonna be Yoshi's or Pokemon starting. And it's gonna be Day Neptune's choice, so that's 100% gonna be Pokemon. You have never played Regolith? I feel like it was a it's a toss up whether or not you two have, because I know you entered the same tournament. Eventually it's gonna happen. It's happening now and it's happening in Grands. Alright, so let's see how Regolith's Fox does here. Because Lex lost this as Fox, Kudge lost this as Falco, uh, Lex lost this as Falco. I don't think this is where you should be trying to take Ices to start. Like, I, honestly, I feel like even Dreamland is a better pick. Uh, uh maybe not. Oh, that was pretty early. Nana lived. Hello, Nana. Like, I, I feel like this and Dreamland are the two stages you should be banning against Ices. Maybe people just don't like FOD that much. <laughs> that they'll end up going here instead. I could actually try to find out if these two have ever played. No, don't think they have. Alright, well, first time they're meeting then is in Grand Finals of Flom 6. Double coverage with two different smash attacks. You can't get by that.
All right, Regolith is up. They are on the winner's side, and they are, like, top seed of the tournament. Almost gets the Shine Spike. Doesn't really matter, because Side B does not grab ledge. All right, 1-0 for Regolith. I'm not sure about that side B. Maybe if you mash B harder, you could make it to stage. But, like, there was no way you were grabbing ledge. Alright, counterpick is 99% going to be FD. It is just the icy stage. Uh, what's going on? Gameplay question mark? Okay. They selected stage a while ago, so... Uh... Huh? Was that just a... Like, was that a snapback? Snapback laser? Or what the heck was that? Regular just jumped off... Or side beat off stage. Alright, well, if you're Day Neptune and you're down a game, you 100% take that. And you're gonna be up two stocks in the first 30 seconds. I feel like starting off a game like this, you might be resigning yourself to losing it, which is, you know, probably more accurate than not. But being on the winner's side, being up a game already, not a not a horrible spot to be. Good setup from Nana with that, and then taking ledge. Regolith on their last stock a minute in. Handoff? Oh, no finisher. Nana with the jabs. And that should be it. Pretty quick, pretty quick game. Three stock win from Day Neptune, but like only one. There's only one SD. It's not like there's multiple SDs. Like, would it have been closer? Yeah, surely. But still wasn't that close. We're probably going to see either Yoshi's or Battlefield, I would expect. I don't know how Regolith feels about the Yoshi's. Looks like they're going Battlefield. Because sometimes, like, a player just, you know, doesn't want to... Even though I think Yoshi's is really good for Fox here. Like, how early Up Smash is going to kill? Or Up Air? Ready? <clears throat> But Battlefield is still fine. Still Fox favored. What's the handoff? Aw. No handoff. Still... Beating them up. Yeah, those shines... Sends... Climbers so far to the side. And if you if you manage to shine between them... It's just so strong. Don't know if they needed to... Hit Nana with that back air. Like, I, I don't know, does Falco have anything that separates as well, or can separate as well as Fox Shine does? Honestly, I feel like the answer might be no. Good catch on the up B. Can it even up the stocks? Shine? No, up smash. Trying to kill Nana off the top a little. Alright, just... As long as you commit to one of the climbers... Could have got that... That shine. They were a little... 
a little frisky on it too early. Sopo time. No, it looks like it's not Sopo time. What is with starting off on Angel Platform with the side B? I feel like that's almost a waste of your invincibility. And it gets burned, but still picks up the kill. Oh, the juggle. Ignoring Nana. You have to be aware that they are targeting you. No hand off that time. Really eating these hits right now. Down so much, just gonna go cleanly off the side. Alright, Regolith last stock. Both climbers dying at the same time. Yeah, like, even if that hits, what do you actually get off it? Like, how much. I don't know how much damage. Uh, side B does with both climbers, but I feel like it can't be that much. Forder catches. All right, Regolith's got some good percent, but it'd be dangerous to be near the edge as Icy's or against Icy's, even at low percent. The shine killed Nana. Send Popo to the other side, no chance of saving. That was like the perfect shine you could have on Fox, but unfortunately for Regolith, Sopo still manages to just smash and kill off the side. Alright, 2-1 now for Day Neptune. Where's the counter break going to be? Is it going to be back to battlefield, looks like? And Regolith still staying Fox. If Regolith loses this set, maybe they switch it up from Fox. But I don't really know how comfortable they are with either the Falco Ices or Marth Ices. So those are two other characters Regolith plays. What are we waiting on now? There we go. Like, sometimes when I when I can see what the players are clicking, like, that they've already, you know, selected characters and stage and all that, sometimes I'm just like, oh, did, did the broadcast cut out again? Oh, Regulus doesn't get the recovery angle. So, very good start for Day Neptune. Has to go for a wacky offstage up air. A little bit of beating up on Popo, but Nana getting in some jabs. Forward smash separating the climber somehow. Kind of a, a lucky forward smash from Regolith right there. Do you have to charge a uh, climber side B like you do Luigi down B? Is that why Day Neptune is doing that? I don't think you have to do that, right? Stock from Regolith looking really good. Already killed Nana. Almost had a really good setup on Popo right there. It's 
That oh that barely killed. I think maybe better DI would have lived that one, but it was really, really close. This one, not all that close. Alright, totally even now, two stocks to two stocks. Regolith keeps getting that center shine between the climbers. Let's not get the handoff follow-up that time. Here we go. F smash, not gonna send far enough to kill, but... Nana did a dash attack. Didn't matter. The, the attack Nana did sending straight up gave Regolith a really good chance to recover off that. Oh, Nano is way higher percent, I think. Oh, didn't get the Nana in into the side B. I think both climbers do go significantly higher when there's two of them, like uh, in the side B. Down smash will do it. That's going to be 3-1 for the first set of Grand Finals. So we're going to have a bracket reset. Into... Uh, what do you call it? Into, uh... Some more smash still. Alright, and reset scores it is now loser side on both. Alright, did they start out at Pokemon again? I don't know if you go back to Pokemon game one. I think you ban if you're Regolith, you ban Pokemon and uh Dreamland. No, apparently you don't. Apparently you go straight back to Pokemon. Right, and actually Regolith didn't character switch either. The Fox has been looking mostly good, but the Neptune combos and handoffs have really been hitting this set. Alright, first stock taken already. Down air really does not send anywhere at low percent or even at high percent. Doesn't get the... If uh, Regolith had gotten the scoop hitbox with the up smash that hits backwards, seemed like that might have been what they were going for. Even an upwards one would have been better than the hitbox they got. Nana, wait, Nana got dragged to that uppy from that far away. That was weird. I've never seen it go that far. It had to be like near max distance. Kill is gonna kill off the top. Alright, Regolith got a bit of a lead this time.
Is that killing? No, not yet. Ooh, down smash maybe was the play there. Up smash covered more angles, but not that angle. Both wind up. Ooh, Popo's dead off that. Dead off one more up air. Regulus was kind of fishing for. Ooh, they thought they had a jump. No jump available. Game one goes to Regulus this time. Finally, someone gets the advantage for uh, the game one. What do you call it? Game one Pokemon. Where's game two going? FD? Gotta be FD. Yep, there it is, FD. the taunt that was your chance to do something nana barely dodging that up air oh why did nana not get grabbed by that side b that just seems super unlucky that nana didn't join in on the side b to get back to stage not really sure why it didn't connect but it did not connect Big handoff right now. And then... Counter grab I don't think is what you want to do in a handoff scenario. Because, yeah, you grabbed an up through Nana, but Popo just down smashed you. Even if you grabbed Popo, Nana could have smashed you too. Alright, even percents, but not even stocks. The landing down air does not feel like it's very good for ICs. Like, the hitbox looks like it's so small. Man, 11? Wasn't sure if they had to jump. Yeah, this is, in my opinion, the only actually, like, Icy's favored stage. At, at super high level, it's probably not really that Icy's favored, but at this level, it definitely feels Icy favored. Compared to, like, every other stage in this matchup. Actually, Drill? Fox Drill probably is pretty good here. Very good shine. Get that kill. Alright, handoff? Oh, no. Uh, strange laser, but I guess it it's fine. Shine kills Nana. Popo's still back. Oh... Really good shine from Regolith right there. Regolith now up 
All right. Time to run it back. But now Day Neptune in a really rough spot. Because this is your last counterpick. You don't get any more counterpicks. Even if you win, no more counterpicks. Your opponent's got all the control. And I don't think we're seeing any character switches or any shenanigans like that. Uh, we are waiting, though, for character select. Ooh, good reflector. Can't call that one a shine. That one's certainly a shine, though. Shine spiked at 41%. You <laughs> have really good handoff right there. Gets the smash finisher. Evens up the stocks after the early shine spike. Oh! Uh, weird interaction. Don't think Regolith was expecting to be on stage. Works out for Day Neptune and gets the stock. Oh, climber separate. Both of them getting up smashed separately. Oh, Nana, you're attacking the wrong way. Twice in a row right there, Nana attacked the wrong way when they could have interrupted Regolith's combo. Or, or not combo, but like chase down. Down Smash going to take it? No, it's not. Little too long focusing on Nana there is going to get Regolith killed. Alright. 0% each. Last Ox. But maybe the final game of the tournament, if Regolith can take this- Oh, barely doesn't side B off stage. Super dangerous right there. Ooh, good- good target switch with the up tilt on Popo. Weird wall jump. Gets a really good follow-up though. Another up air might kill. Up smash might kill? No, not quite. Another one surely will. And that is it. That's it. Regolith 3-0 over Day Neptune in the Grand Finals reset. Looked pretty close overall, but... Oh, that was loud. But Regolith takes it. Really good showing from both players. Day Neptune managed to reset bracket once, but... One set win is not enough. It's not enough. And I'm going to switch over and take a look at the bracket. Why did that... Okay, there we go. Why did that hide the other thing? Uh, so, Regolith is first place in Flom 6, aka Falco Lasers on main. Uh, Day Neptune second, Kudge third, Lex fourth, Ritzy Cheese and Marth Brooks in fifth, and then our two DQ players, Rezo and Parker, got seventh. GG's all around.
One thing I realized that I never said was because this is the last flom I'm doing before Lom might be back, I was actually going to add a prize and the prize was going to be a gift sub to DSK. Uh, if you would like a gift sub to DSK Regolith, that was what the prize was going to be that I forgot to forgot to ever say. But thanks for entering and thanks for winning. How many 3-2s were there? Day Neptune had a couple 3-2s. Actually, the only 3-2s were between Day Neptune and Lex. Because Lom should be back soon, Regolith. So when DSK streams that, you can be in there with the sub. Alright, so gift one sub to Regolith. I want to make sure my payment information does not show up. Yeah, it does. As I thought, it does show additional payment information that I don't really want to show on stream. There we go. Congrats, Regolith, on the DSK sub. And congrats on winning. Played really damn well. Alright, I am going to take a short break. I'm going to keep streaming some other stuff. No one needs to stick around. Don't want to stick around, don't stick around. I was going to play some Backpack Hero because that game came out yesterday and I haven't played it yet. Since the demo. But I'm going to take a short break. Thanks for coming, thanks for playing, thanks for entering. Congrats on Regolith. On Regolith? Con congrats to Regolith. Not on Regolith, but yeah, I'm going to be right back.
Thank mm-hmm. you.